Hey, have you ever wondered if you could do this with your freaking rocket launcher? Hello and welcome. Did you ever want to have four primary weapons in your inventory or actually five? You cannot see the fifth one, but let me show you. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you can, and it's rather easy actually. All you need to do is edit your registry. So to hack the inventory of your Raidenfield game, press Windows key and R, that is the Windows key and the R key at the same time. So again, press Windows key and R, this window will appear. Here you write R-E-G-E-D-I-T, reg edit, and press enter. Now this kind of thing will appear, just press yes, and now this thing will appear. And here, probably already unfolded, computer, and then go to H key current user, unfold that, then go to software, unfold that, then go to Steel Raven 7, unfold that, and then go to Ravenfield Steam. All right, and in here we have gear 1, 2, 3. These are interesting. We have primary underscore H, something, this weird number, and we have secondary underscore H, something. These five values you can change to give you the weapon that you want. On the right hand side you can now see which code is which weapon. For example, if we wanted only HMGs, that means hilarious machine gun, we would double click each of these values, write 15 when hexadecimal is selected, or 21 when decimal is selected, and press OK. And just do it for each of them. The 15, that's in hex code, and uh, 21, that would be in decimal numbers. And if we do this to everything, then the next time we load a level in Raidenfield, the loadout menu will be full of HMGs. And in this case, the second inventory HMG overlaps with the third one. But this doesn't matter. If we press 2, we get one. 3, we get one. 4, we get one. 5, we get one. And that means on all five slots we have what we entered. It's just that visually the second inventory slot HMG overlaps with the third one because it is two slots big usually. But thankfully the inventory system of Ravenfield is quite flexible and allows for this interesting little hack. So what we can do now is shoot the first HMG until it overheats. There we go, we can switch to the second one until it overheats. Switch to the third one until it overheats. There we go. And the fourth one. And the fifth one. Yeah, that's the spirit. And you know what? We can also just jump on a jeep and use that one. Now the problem is we have to wait for each of them to cool down, but still, the ability to do so is pretty awesome, and you can do this with all the weapons, of course. For example, let's put the SL Defender in our inventory. Let's put the shotgun in our inventory. Let's put the Quicksilver in our inventory, and the Slammer, and also the Hydra. And we don't even have to restart Ravenfield, we just have to start a new game, and it will work. Again, we see four weapons, but in fact, in fact we have one, two, three, four, five. And that's how it is. And that's how you do it. Super easy. So yeah, this is how you do it on Windows with HK current user software and then company name which is Steel Raven 7 and then product name which is Ravenfield Steam. That's how you do it on Windows and on Linux you can do the same with the text editor, I believe. In home slash dot config, it's a hidden folder, slash unity 3D slash Steel Raven 7 slash uh, Ravenfield Steam. And the same on Mac. I think you have to hit Control G to enter a location. This might be a bit complicated to get to, but it's basically your user profile, then app data, which is probably a hidden folder, then local, then packages, then product package ID. Product package ID? I really don't know what that would be. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Steam allows you to find that folder or something. What is a product package ID? If you know, please let us know in the comments. This seems to be a complicated one. All right, next up we're gonna check out the cheat engine to see how we can change things like health and ammunition. So let's take a look at the cheat engine. It allows you to modify values in memory, like health and ammunition, 
and then you can just give yourself infinite ammunition, for example. So let's take a look how to download it. Let's just press Download Cheat Engine. You can also get it for Mac, actually. Now here we have this crap. We have a search manager. This is bloatware. Don't get it. What you have to do is skip. Press skip and then press skip. And then it will give you an install file. It can still be laced with bloatware. If you run it, you have to give it control. It's a bit not really trustworthy. I don't know if I trust this thing, but uh, you know, I have to try out these cheats. So let's take a look. I accept this agreement. I accept this location. And I ac accept this. And desktop icon, no thanks. Don't check for new versions. I think that might just l lead to you accidentally installing one of these stupid search bars. Oh, here we go. Holy hell, this is horrible. So you have to be super careful when installing this crap. There's a freaking Yahoo Chrome browser. Alternatively, you can just forget about this and you can get Cheat Engine Portable. I don't know if this is trustworthy or not, but maybe it's the better choice. You can find both links in the description of this video. Anyways, so once you have Cheat Engine installed, you have to launch it and also launch Ravenfield. In Ravenfield, just go ahead and start a match. And the first thing we're gonna try is give you infinite ammunition. So just pick a weapon you want to try out and take a look at the number down here, 25, right? So now we go into Cheat Engine, press this green red highlighted icon and we click Ravenfield and open. And now we enter the number 25 in here. It's very different for health. If you want to change the health, you have to keep on watching. I will cover how to do health later. It's easy to make mistakes, so just keep watching. All right, now you press first scan. Okay, we have 20,000 values. We have 20,000 values that might be a match. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shoot one bullet. All right, press escape again. Always press escape between steps. That makes it much more easier. We now have 24 bullets. So just enter 24 in here and press next scan, not new scan, press next scan once. All right, we already only have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can actually press next scan a few more times because one of these values keeps changing. That means it, it is not what we want. And now we shoot another bullet. Press escape and we can already see the value which is 23 is what we want. We can, to be sure, we can just put in 23, press next scan and here we, here we have it. Just double click it and hit this check mark. And you can also double click this and set it to 111 for example, why not? And if you go back to the game and start shooting, pew 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 pew, you can see you have unlimited ammo and if you switch to a different weapon, you would have to do it all over again, but it stays forever like this for the gun you just modified. Unless you die, then you probably have to do it again. So we can also do this for the rocket launcher. Because it is a 1, the number 1, this will be much harder though, so let's try it. We're gonna enter 1 and do new scan, and then press first scan. Alright, we have uh, seven, 700,000 values, oh my. Alright, now this is a uh, time uh, critical, so what we have to do now is resume game. Shoot and press escape immediately. Now we have to enter the number zero, press new next scan. All right, we are down to 32,000. We can press next scan a few more times while the game is still paused, while the value is still the same in game. And we are done to 10,000. This is because many different values continue to change while this one stays the same. So now we just wait until the reload finishes. It is very slow with this gun. All right, number is still zero and it's one. So press escape, go back to cheat engine and enter the number one, press next scan. We are down to 160. This is pretty good. Pressing it a few more times. Okay, 166. Whatever, good enough. Let's shoot one more time. Escape. Now we are looking for zero once more. We are down to 60 uh, values. 60 values. 56. Right. Okay, let's wait for the reload. All right, here we go. One, don't shoot yet. Press escape the one. Where's the one? Here's the one. And next scan. We are down to 14 values. This is getting close. All right, we're going to shoot it once more. Press escape immediately. And we are at zero. Four values left. Let's... All right, so now we see we just let the time continue a little bit and one of them switched to one, but this is still zero. So we can do another next scan for zero. And we have three values left. All right, let's continue reloading. Okay, another one. 
We are still at zero, but another one changed. So let's do next scan. All right. Two values are left. All right. Only one of them. Okay, what, what the hell? This one is continuously changing. Let's just go to one here. Search for one. Huh, now I'm confused. Anyways, we have one last bullet, so let's shoot it. Okay. All right, so this one switched back to one, but this one is still at zero, which is a correct number. So let's just pick this one, set it to 11, and press this X over here. Check this box. And go back to the game. And now we have this. Ha! Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. All right. So now, <clears throat> so now that we took care of ammunition, let's go for player health. Let's try it. First, we have to press new scan. Then we have to press. Then we have to press value type float. Then we enter the health. How much health do we have? We have 100 health. So we enter 100. We do the first scan and we press next scan a few times because we know the number changes for some values but not for our health because the game is paused. All right, now we're done with this and now let's try to do some damage. All right, we are at 97. This is perfect. Let's enter 97 and this is a floating value. Even though we see 97, there are some decimal numbers we are not seeing. So make sure that it's float. All right, next scan. We, we already have it. All right, let's double click it, press the X and uh, this one we will set to 900, no, 9999. Just to be sure, just to be safe. It's still theoretically possible to die, but it is very hard to do so. And if we lose some health now, we see we have 9921 health. Awesome. And this makes us pretty much indestructible. So now we have infinite ammo and uh, infinite health. Pretty cool, right? What about vehicles? Now this one is a hard one. That is a lot of effort. So uh, yeah, let's let's do that now. All right, so here we have a helicopter. Let's get in. I believe the helicopter has approximately 1000 health, but we cannot be sure. Sometimes the helicopters spawn with a little bit of damage. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pause the game and go for a new scan and we're gonna not go for exact value. We know it's a float, so make sure it's a float. We're gonna go for bigger than and uh, let's see, 900, all right? 900, 980 actually. We can see this by looking at this bar that it's probably more than that. Gonna do it once, gonna do it a few more times. We have 2 million values, that's a bit extreme. Now we're gonna go for less than 1001. So not bigger than, but smaller than. Next scan, all right? And now we're gonna go for uh, 980 and enter bigger than again and do a few more scans. So now we set this thing to decreased value. All right, don't press anything yet. Go back to the game and land this thing. Make a little bit of damage to it. All right, see, we lost some health. Let's press next scan. All right, let's do this again. We lost some more health. Let's go for next scan. All right, I don't know if we're gonna do this, but all right, we crashed again a little. Let's press next scan. We are at 246. All right, let's 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 lose some more life. All right, that was a tiny bit, that's very good. Let's press next scan. All right, we are at 44 values. And I think we can already handpick which one it is. It should be around 500, pretty much exactly 500. I think it's the 487 va value right there. Okay, that was maybe a bit too much. Let's do next scan. Okay, this is it. Uh, clearly our, our health is not jumping currently, so let's ignore that. Let's just double click this, set it to uh, 99,999 and also enable it. And as you can see at the bottom, the health icon just went through the roof or rather through the side. And now we have infinite health. We still can get taken down, but it's, uh, it's a lot of effort. All right, I'm having trouble finding a plane, so let's just crash into a helicopter instead. All right, yes, they are dead and we survived. Awesome. We are a suicidal, indestructible killing machine now. Yeah, I'm just gonna tip you over. Ha! Nice. Yeah, enjoy the view. All right, I'm really having trouble colliding with the plane, so let's try it during liftoff. Come on, show me what you got. 
Yes. Sorry, teammate, but we had to do it for demonstration purposes. As you can see, we survive us totally, completely without a problem. Hey, you. Get out of here. Whoops. Okay, we are not resistant against water, so... Be careful about that, alright? <laughs> yep, so that's it for Cheat Engine for now. So what if you want, for example, to disable this weird swimming that we are doing right now? Or what if you want to disable falling? For example, if you're inside a helicopter and want to just jump out, you get into this third-person perspective annoyance. But you can get rid of that, and I'm gonna show you in the next part how to do that. All you need for this is IL Spy and Reflex Hill. I explain in the Raidenfield modding tutorial step by step where to get it, how to get it, it's really easy. Just watch the video right now, link is in the description. Once you did that, just run IL Spy, make sure to remove everything on the left hand side, then press File Open, go to the location of Raidenfield in your Steam folder, it's usually C Program Files x86 slash steam slash steam apps slash common slash Ravenfield. Then go to Ravenfield data, go to managed and press assembly minus C sharp. Press open and then unfold this, unfold the dash. And for example, to prevent characters from falling over, for example, because of explosions or from jumping out of a helicopter, as you saw just now, let's go to actor, scroll down and go to the function fall over. Then press the cogwheel, which you only can see if you have Reflexil installed properly. And in here, you see a bunch of instructions. Hold down Shift, select all of them except for the very last, and then right-click and press Delete. And then scroll up, right-click Assembly minus C sharp, press Save As, and then double-click Assembly minus C sharp. Press OK or Yes. And you can get rid of this now and just run Ravenfield normally. So now we can jump into this little bird and get up in the sky and check out what it feels like when we can just keep on shooting while midair. Alright, high enough yet? I think not. Let's get even higher. Alright, let's jump. Here we are and we can just pump our shotgun at our enemies while we fall. Yep, that was it. Another method I want to show you is using the NSPY. You have to go to the release page to get it and then download the zip that is not the source code. And then just extract as per usual. Go in there and find the dnspy.exe. This one is rather nice looking. You can change the theme to a white one or another white one. For now, let's stick with dark. And first of all, I would suggest you delete all the things in the Assembly Explorer. So now go to your Ravenfield files. In Steam, you can right click the game and go to Properties. Go to Local Files and click Browse Local Files. And in here, you have Ravenfield Data, where you have Managed. In the Assembly C Sharp, you have to make a copy of that for backup. And then you can edit the assembly minus C sharp. And if something goes wrong, you can just delete assembly minus C sharp, make a copy of the copy, rename it back to assembly minus C sharp. Right? But always keep a copy of the original, or you might just destroy the game, then you would have to reinstall it. That that yeah, that would be annoying. This is much nicer. So once we have our assembly minus C sharp dot DLL and made a copy. For backup purposes, we can just drag it in here. And now, in DNSpy, we have much more uh, more functionalities available to us than in ILSpy. First, let's search for something like health, for example. And uh, yeah, actually, damage. I think the the functions or methods called damage are what we're looking for. So this is a bit sparse. This might be no, probably still not it. Yeah, this might be it. This is uh, looking better. So here we can see a line that says health of this, which is a character, an actor, minus equals health damage. So here the damage that a unit receives gets subtracted from their health. And we can prevent this 
if you're the player. So we can make the player invincible while all other characters remain having health that gets reduced when they take damage. So let's right click here and edit method. And now we could do some fancy things here, but what we really only want is take this. If this AI controlled and put it at the front, let us actually take all of this and shove it one to the right, close it up. And put this right there. And we just remove remove this exclamation mark. So if character is AI controlled, then they get all this damage and they get this impact force. Maybe they get they become a ragdoll. Stuff like that. There's hurt. And now we just press compile. And it just works. Oh yeah, of course, uh, what we have to do now is go to file, save module. And we're just going to press OK. It already picks the correct file. And there we go. So here we go. Not taking any damage from anything. Looks like I still can fall from jumping out of a helicopter and stuff. But that's that would be it. I mean, we could take care of that as well. But for now, I'm invincible. Come on. And the best uh, thing is uh, there's not even any shaking or anything from getting shot. Their bullets have no effect on me. So the next thing I want to do is to make my vehicle invincible. For this, let's search for damage again. Hurtable forced AI vehicle. Here we go. So here we are in a vehicle and let's see. And here we just right click again, press edit method. And here I believe we will have to invent something. So let's just write public void damage float amount. We're going to make this not happen. If not, this player is inside. There is claimed by player. So we could just encapsulate this all and move it over here. And that would be it. But this would m mean that each vehicle we were ever inside of, um, each of these vehicles will never take damage. But we want something else. We want, we want player is, is inside. We only want the vehicle to be invincible that we are currently inside of. So we're going to compile this and save the module. Let's see if we can crash into anything. Well, we certainly are not taking any damage from bullets. So that is good. Ah, yeah, we can totally crash into this guy. Nice. And it's uh, much nicer than the cheat engine method because... Well, first of all, that takes like forever to figure out which one... Which one is your vehicle. Which value. And, uh, yeah. You, you don't have to repeat it. You just do it the first time. Yeah. We're still not invincible when it comes to water, though. And finally, I want to check out um, shooting. So let's see. I don't remember quite what we have to search for. Ammunition, basically. Ammo. Is there ammo or is there ammunition? Well, let's check for ammo. Get... Sp oh, I think the... Yeah, it was shot. Or shoot? Shoot? Shoot. All right, let's see. This seems to be not interesting. Shoot, highlight, play. This might be it. Let's check this out. Edit method. And here it goes. Here, this ammo minus minus. So every shot gets reduced by one. Yeah, we're just going to reserve this only for others. Only non-players will do this. So if this player, user is player, If not user is player, then ammo gets reduced. All right, let's compile this. Okay, and all right, so I don't know what that was, but if not this user AI controlled, that should work. Wait, no. If this user AI controlled, then reduce ammo. Otherwise, no. Let's try. Yeah, it works. Awesome. Let's save the module. Right, here we go. 
Shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, as you can see, we always have 14 bullets. And Rocket Launcher has the same nice effect. And uh, Shotgun... This is not as exciting. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's all very nice. Oh, and it also works for vehicles. If you look at the ammo counter, we are stuck at 16. Wonderful. Well, there's not much more one could ask for right now. Only problem is we cannot kill ourselves anymore. The K, the K key just doesn't work. So these are the four most interesting methods of cheating in Ravenfield. I hope uh, you have some fun with it. Make sure to give this video a like and I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao! Yay! Oh yeah! Follow me, baby! What is going on? This is, a, this is an awesome weird bug I haven't seen ever before. Just look at this. Oh boy. Ha! Nice catch, dude. Yeah, you better stand on that thing.